Yeah, I started playing the guitar when I was 12 years old, and I've pretty much been hooked ever since. It's my personal opinion that the electric guitar is one of the most versatile instruments you can find, mainly because of the whole world of effects pedals. In fact, it was my love for the electric guitar and audio that made me decide to go into electrical engineering when I went to college. I built my first pedal as part of a project in my sophomore level circuits class. It was just a simple analog tremolo. I bought a piece of protoboard and some op amps and threw it together and put it into this bright yellow enclosure that I bought. It led me to start tinkering more and more with other pedals. I was always trying to create something that didn't already exist. The name Flower Pedals, that came from the original tremolo pedal I built because I, I named it the Dancing Daisy. I was also pretty surprised that no one had taken advantage of that great pun of flower petals. I had a few goals in mind when I started making my own designs. First of all, I, I wanted to be original. I didn't want to just make another Klon clone or another Tube Screamer clone. I wanted to make something unique. I wanted to add something new to the pedal world with my, each of my designs. In fact, I ended up doing most of my designs from scratch. One of my other big goals was to try and make all my pedals as compact as possible. I'm constantly trying to stuff more pedals on my board. And I always hate it when I find a pedal that I really like, but it's just too big and I'd have to take too many other pedals off my board. My engineering background has come in pretty handy for doing the PCB design as well as the assembly. I also wanted to make sure I use high quality components. Seems like a given, but there's a little things that can be done in, in the circuit design to help ensure a more durable product. I've designed my bigger pedals to use soft touch foot switches and relays. The relays last longer and also allow for silent switching so you don't get that stupid annoying click whenever you turn your pedal on or off. I still have to use the traditional triple pull foot switches for my small designs because I couldn't find a way to fit all the extra components into that Twinkie sized enclosure. Maybe someday I'll figure it out. The last thing I wanted to do was make sure all my pedals take care of the guitar signal. I like to know that I can take any of my pedals and put them anywhere in my signal chain without having to worry about what they'll do. I should also mention that all of my pedals are true bypass, so they won't mess with your signal otherwise when they're turned off. So the four designs I'm launching with are the Geranium Germanium Drive, Dandelion Harmonic Tremolo, the Poppy Clean Boost, and the Lupin Analog Octave Up. So check out my demo videos, and if you like what you see in here, put in your support and get yourself a flower petal. Plant it in your own tone garden. New sound is blooming.